Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kenneth from Dusope, and we power global payments with Africa. Visa and MasterCard just work just fine for the US, but when it comes to Africa, its payment story is a little different. Africa has 54 different countries, and each of these 54 countries has a different locally preferred mode of payment. Let's take an example. The Kenyans love to pay using their M-Pesa. The guys in Cameroon love their orange money. The guys in South Africa still prefer cards, but <laughs> and the people in Nigeria prefer online banking. So as a business, how do you seamlessly tap into payments across all these jurisdictions? That solution is simple. Do Supay is that solution. We provide a single API that integrates multiple local modes of payment from all over Africa, making it possible for any business to seamlessly accept and make payments all across Africa. Let's take one example, Quicket, a ticketing company based right here in South Africa. They recently wanted to extend their business to other parts of Africa. Their first location was Uganda. By the time they met us two weeks ago, they had spent eight months of bureaucracy just to get started accepting payments from just one country. Eight months of bureaucracy, irritating bureaucracy, I must say. Within just two hours of meeting Dusope, Quicket was up and running in Uganda, accepting payments in Uganda, and in addition to that, seven other African countries. <laughs> just to be clear, we are not a ticketing company and neither are we a money remittance company. We're an infrastructure company that provides a platform that businesses use to accept and make payments all across Africa. We power payments for businesses of all types, from e-commerce to tours and travel to online gaming. And just yesterday, actually, for the first time ever, we processed a mobile money payment through one of our partners, Coin on Messenger. All right, so here's a quick walkthrough of how this works. Um, at checkout, someone selects Dusupe as the payment alternative. Next step is they're sent to Dusupe where they would choose the alternative of how they want to pay. The Kenyan can use their M-Pesa. The guy from Uganda can use his MT, you know, Airtel money. And within just a matter of seconds, the payment is complete. Dusupe does the back-end processing and we make everyone happy. In terms of traction, we are powering payments for over 1,900 businesses. These businesses are from over 20 countries globally, and over the past 12 months, we have processed more than 100 million pounds. <laughs> we make money in three simple ways. Subscriptions, transaction charges, and forex fees. This is a lucrative industry, so definitely we have some competition. We have two main competitors, Flutterwave and MFS Africa. But unlike MFS Africa, we, we provide an entire payment suit, facilitating both collections and payouts across all the economies we have a base in. The team behind this is an amazing team. I am the CEO. My background is in economics, so I definitely like seeing numbers going up and up and up. <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, Hillary, John, and I have been working together for over six years, and now we are set on the next mission to create the new standard of how the world should transact with Africa. So if you're a business and you, you think your business needs to operate all across Africa, please feel free to talk to me after this. And if you're an investor, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. We believe that we are changing the way business is done in Africa and we're seeking to raise a million pounds in seed funding. We are Dusupay and we power global payments with Africa. Thank you.